recorded three hits over its career and one of the hits went platinum so can we go now that there's two hits one platinum does that make sense he had three this band had three hits but one of them went platinum a band member selected 15 songs including the three hits for their set list in the upcoming concert how many possible sequences for the set list are there if the band wants to open with a hit, play a hit in the middle, and end with their platinum? Fifteen. What are we going to do with this? How could we arrange these songs around in order? How many possible ways could we do this? Okay, ready? How many possible sequences? If the band wants to open with a hit. So how many options would I have right here? Two. They want to play a hit in the middle of the show. So in the middle of the show, they want to play a hit. How many options do they have here? If you played one hit there, how many hits do you have left? One. And they want to end the concert with their platinum. So how many do you have, options do you have at the end? One. Now, I don't think it matters what's going on with the rest of the songs. How many songs do I have left here? I needed 15 and I've used up three songs, right? So how many is there to go? 12, so 12 factorial. So two times one times one times 12 factorial. Obviously you're not gonna times by one, right? 12 factorial. Times two. Oh, a lot. Hopefully, I don't give you something that's that big. Okay, that's how many different playlists you could put together or set lists. A piano teacher and her students are having a group photo taken. There are three boys, five girls. The photographer wants the boys to sit together and the girls to sit together for one of the poses. How many ways can the students and the teacher sit in a row of nine chairs for the pose? So one teacher. You're putting the nine of them together. You have three boys, five girls, one teacher. Which situation is this like? If we're grouping all the boys together, they have to sit together, all the girls together, all the, te the teacher together. What are we going to do? We're going to rearrange the groups. And we're going to rearrange within the groups. So how many groups can I be moving around? Three. Because I could go boys, girls, teacher. I could go boys, teacher, girls. I could go teacher, girls, boys, right? I can do all that. Then within the boy group, what could I do with the boys themselves? I could rearrange, <coughs> rearrange the boys. What could I do with the girls? I could rearrange the girls around. 
And we don't really need one factorial for the teacher, right? I don't think that makes a difference. So, so like the teacher always has to sit with No, the teachers themselves. Like you could, in your photo, you could be boys, girls, and then the teacher on the side. Or you could have done like girls, boys, teacher. You could have done teacher, boy, girl. You could do girl, teacher, boys, right? There's there's six ways you can do that, right? But there's always three like boys, girls, teachers. That that we came up with the That's why we have three factorial. Because three factorial is six. So we could go boys, girls, teacher, girls, boys, teacher. We could go teacher, boys, girls, girls, teacher, boys. What else? There's supposed to be six of them. teacher, girls, and then the boys, or boys, teacher, girls. There's your six. Three factorial. I could move my groups around like that. Right? That's where that comes from. Okay, so what do we get here? Three factorial, three factorial, five factorial. So that's the situation. How many groups are you rearranging? Within each group, you're also rearranging. Combination problems are common in computer science. Suppose there's a set of 10 different items represented by A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J to be placed into four different memory cells in a computer. So I'm going to be putting stuff on four memory cells. Only three data items are to be placed in the first cell. Four of them are going to be placed into the second, two into the third, and one into the last cell. How many ways could you do that? Okay, so when I put items into the data, am I concerned about the order of those items in the database? Or am I concerned about just what am I putting in the database? Just what you're putting in there. You don't care about the order. Okay, so in the first database, what did we have? Three items are going to be in there. So I had 10, and I'm going to choose three items to put in that first cell. And I'm not concerned about the order of them. I just want to make sure I'm putting three in there. And into the second cell, I'm going to put four items. So I'm going to choose four, but what? We don't have 10 anymore. What did we do? We already picked three here. So now how many left? Seven. Because I've already, out of the ten, I've already placed three in. So now I only have seven left to choose from. Now I go to the third cell, and in the third cell I'm going to put two items. So I'm going to choose two items. How many items are left for me to choose from? Three. Because here I was down to seven and then I used four. So now I only have three left. And one, I'm going to choose one for the last. How many do I have left? I only have one because this I was three and but I chose two leaving me with one. Okay. I want you to try to type that. I'll give you this answer. See if you can get that. Do you understand one, choose one? If you don't want to write it, you don't have to because, or like you don't have to put it into your calculator. It's just going to be a value of one, okay?
How did that go? Got that? Did you do them all separately first, or did you just give her? Give her. Give her. Good? Yeah. Okay. Okay, last one. How many different five hand card hands that contain at most one black card can be dealt to one person from a standard deck of cards? Okay, let's talk about this at most one black. What could happen in your hand if you had at most one black card? What are the situations that could have happened? You could have had what? Zero black cards or one black card. Okay, does that make sense? At most. So in your card hand, you might not have any, or you would have one, but you can't go any more than that. Okay. What are you going to do in your hand if you have no black cards? So we're going to be picking what in our hand? If we have no black cards, what are we having? What's that the same of, as having in our five? Our five cards are going to be what? They're going to be all what? All red, right? If you don't have any black cards, that means the same situation as five red cards. Okay. Do we care about the order of these cards or not? No. We're not worried about order. So we know that we're going to be using the C, right? Because we're just choosing cards. We're not worrying about the order that we're picking them in. Okay. We're going to choose five reds because I have to put a, I have to put five cards in my hand. Well, if you have your hand of five cards and none of them are black, what do they have to be? You can't pick purple cards. You only have two choices in cards, red or black, right? Yeah. So if you have no black, that means all five things in your hand are red. So I'm going to choose five red cards. How many red cards would there be that I could possibly pick from? How many are in the whole deck? 52. What do you know? 26, yeah, half and half. Or, so I'm going to add. Okay, if there's one black card, what else will you have inside your hand? Four red. Okay, so in this hand, I would have one black, and I would also have four red in my hand. Okay, so how do you do picking one black card. You're choosing one black card. How many black cards are in that deck? 26. And then how do you pick four reds out of the deck? 26, choose four. just like a different scenario as well on the bottom of this one okay um, you have 15 team members into three cars you're gonna put 15 members into three cars how many ways can you put 15 team members into three cars okay Ready? Visualize this. There's 15 people standing on the step outside. 
okay? The first car pulls up to put people in. What are you going to do to that first car? Okay, there's five spaces in this car, right? Okay, are we going to choose or are we going to perm? Are we worried about the order of the people in the car or are we just putting combinations of people in the car? We're just choosing. And in the first car, we're going to pick five people to go in that car. And how many people would I have to pick from? Fifteen. And then the second car pulls up. What am I going to do with the second car? You're going to choose five people from the second car to go into that car. You're going to choose five people for it. But what are your options now? Ten. You only have ten people left now. Because you've already put five people into the first car, so now you only have ten people to choose from. Okay. And then the last car pulls up. What are you going to do on the last car then? Five people left and you're going to choose five. Okay, that's just a different way to kind of do what we did there before with the computer question.